welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video i am going to explain you about knapsack problem using dynamic programming so we already saw a zero by one knapsack problem using branch and bound i mean we have it in branch and bound we have it in greedy method we have it in dynamic programming and also but by dynamic approach how you will solve it let us see so basically what do you mean by a uh, knapsack there will be a bag a bag has certain capacity and you have to fill up that bag according to the capacity of the bag right then what do you mean by zero by one knapsack zero by one knapsack means either you will pick the item completely or you don't pick them at all suppose you have an item x with weight 8 okay you will either pick complete x that is if you can accommodate complete 8 units of weight then only you will pick 8 if you can accommodate only 4 partial is not allowed okay you cannot split it 4 into one bag and 4 into other bag like that you can't split if you don't have space you can completely drop it okay or if you have space you can completely take it you cannot do splitting okay if you have suppose you have 10 items it is not mandatory that you have to place all those 10 items into the knapsack bag you can place only few of them until the bag can accommodate and you should make sure that with those few things also you are getting more profit okay if you make sure that then it will be easy got it um so let's get started now this is our example we have weights 3 4 5 6 and the profits associated to them are 2 3 4 1 respectively okay next the total weight of the knapsack bag is how much 8 and how many total items you have 4 so this is our uh, matrix okay so here you write all the profits 2 3 4 1 and here you write all the weights 3 4 5 6 okay um, so weights always you should write it in ascending order but by default we have it in the ascending order in the question only so we took the same order if in the question it is not given in the ascending order you have to write here in the ascending order and the profits also respective profits you have to write okay now let's start filling up this table so if we fill up this table 90 percent of the problem is done okay let's see how to fill it up first first row and first column always keep everything zero because at this point the way so see why we took zero one two three four five six seven and eight because we the total weight is eight that's why we took zero to eight so at first you will fill up the first row and first column with all zeros okay yeah so all zeros now next here what you have to do what is the weight you have three right can you fill three this is the weight guys okay don't get confused this is weight okay all these are weights can you fill three in one no right so zero can you fill three in two no zero can you fill three in three yes you can fill it so what you can write here the profit associated with three that you have to write not three or not one or not something what is the profit associated with three that three you have to write if you can accommodate this three okay so can you accommodate three in four yes obviously so you will write the same profit here when you can accommodate in three you can accommodate it in four in five in six in everything right so for everything the profit will be same two only okay done now come to this row this this row here what is the weight four can you fill four in one no can you fill four in two no can you fill four in three no now can you fill four in four yes you can but at the same time you can fill this three also you can fill three you can fill four but then among these both which one you should select now you should apply a formula which says maximum of see now what you have to do is what is the profit of three maximum profit right so maximum profit you have to take so maximum of what is the profit of three sorry what is the profit of four three 
plus now on where in which row or in which uh, column you want sorry in which column you want to fill the value what is the weight on top of that column col sorry column it is 4 so 4 minus original weight is how much 4 4 minus 4 is what 0 okay so 4 minus 4 is what 0 so in the top row in the row above this what whichever value is near 0 that value you have to take so in this above row which value is near 0 0 only is there so 3 plus 0 comma and the value on its exact top 2 so what is maximum of 3 and 2 it's what 3 so you will fill this with 3 don't confuse watch the video patiently until the end of this row you will understand how we are getting this I am sure 50% of you would, might have not understood this step because even I did not understand it. I watched video for 2-3 times, I went back, I went back, watched, then I understood. So wait until I complete this row, then you will understand. Okay, next. Maximum of, for this, okay, maximum of, again, you can accommodate 4, right? So 4, sorry, what is the profit of 4? 3 plus go top what is the weight here 5 and what is the weight here 4 5 minus 4 is what 1 so in the row above this whichever value is near the weight 1 0 0 comma and top of this what is the value 2 so maximum of again 3 comma 2 you will get 3 so 3 same maximum of here again what is the profit of 3 sorry 4 it is 3 plus 6 minus 4 what how much 2 in the top row which value is near 2 0 comma and what is the value on top 2 so again you will get 3 okay yeah now see maximum of for this one 3 plus 3 because the profit of 4 is 3 plus what is here 7 7 minus 4 is how much? 3. So in the top row, which value is near 3? 2. So 3 plus 2. Now I think you guys understood. 3 plus 2 comma. And what is the value on top of this? 2. So 3 plus 2 is 5. Among 5 and 2, which is maximum? 5. So you will write 5 over here. Okay. Same here also. Maximum of 3 plus see um, 8 right 8 minus 4 is how much 4 so in the top row which value is under 4 2 so 3 plus 2 comma and what is the value on top of it 2 so 3 plus 2 comma 2 is again 5, uh, 3 plus 2 is 5 among 5 and 2 which is maximum 5 so you will get 5 again okay this is how you solve same applies to this row also okay let's try to solve this row so again the what is the weight? 5. So weight 5, you cannot accommodate it in 1, you cannot in 2, you cannot in 3 and you cannot in 4, right? So till this point, wait, wait a second. Here you should get 2, okay? Why? Because you, can, you cannot accommodate 4 in 3. But you can accommodate 3, right? So 3 is already accommodated and the profit associated is 2. So you, it will be 2 here. Then now come, come to this row. Here 5 is there. You, can, you cannot accommodate 5 in 1 or in 2 or in 3 or in 4. So till 4, you have to copy the value from the above row as it is. Not all zeros. 0, 0, 2, 3. You copy all the values from above row as it is. Now, you have to fill these 4 blocks. Same again. Maximum of, what is the profit associated with 5? 4. Plus, 5 minus original weight is what? 5. 5 minus 5 is what? 0. So, just in the row above this, what is the value near 0? It is 0 only. Why you are taking 0? Because 5 minus 5 is 0. Okay? Comma. And what is the value on top of it? 3. So, you will take 4. You will get 4 here. Next, same. Maximum of profit is 4 plus 6 minus 5 is how much? 1. 
on the top row which value is near 1 0 so 4 plus 0 comma and what is the value here 3 so 4 next maximum of same again profit is 4 plus 7 minus 5 how much 2 so in the top row whichever value is near 2 0 again comma and what is the value here 5 on the top what is the value 5 so you will take maximum as Five. okay and again maximum of profit is 4 plus 8 minus 5 how much 3 so in the top row what is the value near 3 2 so 4 plus 2 comma and what is value here 5 so what is maximum of 4 plus 2 6 and 5 it is 6 so you will write 6 here okay now this last row we have to fill guys okay i will do that here okay so six can you accommodate six in one no in two no in three no in four no in five also no so till here you copy the value from the above row as it is okay so these three values you have to find out so again maximum of what is the profit associated with six it's just one 1 plus 6 minus what is the weight 6 6 minus 6 how much 0 in the previous row what is the value under 0 it is 0 only so 1 plus 0 comma and what is the value above this 4 so what is the maximum among 1 and 4 4 so you fill this with 4 okay next maximum of 1 plus what is the value here 7 7 minus 6 how much 1 on the top row which is the value under 1 0 comma and what is here 5 so what is the maximum value 5 okay next I will do it here maximum of 1 plus again 8 minus 6 how much 2 so in the top row what is the value under 2 0 so 1 plus 0 comma 6 so what do you get maximum of 1 and 6 6 so you fill up the table with 6 again okay now we are successfully done with filling up the table okay now what you have to do so what is the maximum profit you got 6 the last value you have to consider okay the maximum profit is how much now you six. have four things okay 1, 2, 3, 4. Among these four elements, which one you have to pick, which one you have to not pick. So the weights associated with these are 3, 4, 5, 6. And the profits associated are 2, 3, 4, 1. So among these four, this is x1, x2, x3, x4, let us assume. So, among these four, which one you have to pick, which one you have to not pick, let us see now. Okay, for that what you have to do is, first you have to put your pointer here at 6, okay. Now, move the pointer above, okay. You have to move your pointer above, iterate it. Iterate it by one step and the pointer has moved to the top 6, okay. Since it is same, the profit has not changed, right it is the same you have to consider the third element okay because in the near the third element the profit has not changed so you can consider so if you want to consider i'm keeping it as one okay you can consider the third element now from here move to top okay so after moving here where you have to move your pointer means see here we selected the third element right so what is the profit associated with this third element 4 okay so what is our total profit 6 so from total profit 4 is already gone that means 6 minus 4 what is the remaining profit now 2 okay so in this row check if there is any 2 yes we have a 2 over here so move your pointer to this 2 okay now from 2 iterate it to the above level so then it will come here right so it is not changing two same and two same here so then we will consider this element which element is this one first element so you are considering the 
first element also what is the profit associated with the first element 2 and what is the remaining profit 2 so 2 minus 2 is how much 0 okay that means we got the total profit as 6 and you took 2 and 4 2 plus 4 is 6 and you are considering element 1 and element 3 to fill into the bag so let us keep remaining as 0 so you will get 1 0 1 0 that means you are keeping element 1 and element 3 into the bag so what are the weights associated with them 3 5 so what is 3 plus 5 8 so what is your total weight 8 you are able to accommodate elements into the bag according to the total weight and also according to the total profit right so the total profit constraint is satisfied total weight constraint is also satisfied okay so this is all about knapsack problem guys very simple so the key is filling this table and moving the pointers whenever you don't see a change you can take it into the bag whenever you see a change you need to calculate the remaining profit and jump to that remaining profit see if you are staying near phi only there is no point because you cannot accommodate phi in the remaining profit which is 2 right so i hope this video is clear um if you are still not able to understand anything let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear your doubts okay thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic